What's up, Space Cadets? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. And today, we are going to be heading off to the moon. We're going to go to the moon. Now, I've been to the moon already, but I was kind of in and out. Uh, I'm going to look for some POIs to hit on the moon, okay? Because I want to get off this planet. It's just, I've been here too long, getting cooped up on this planet. we got to get out there and go check out the moon. I might also hit the orbital tra trade station, although I think it's in the wrong direction, so I'm not really sure about that. Um, but I got a couple things I need to talk to you guys about before we go. First of all, I did explore the entire planet. I could not find the radiated zone. When I normally when I normally play this game, I start off on the regular planet. Like the regular temperate planet. And there's always a radiated zone that always has uh, cobalt nodes in it. And I could not find any on this planet. Which uh, is a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Uh, so, what are you going to do? The problem is now I need some cobalt. So I'm going to go to the moon and see what we can find there. Uh, but I did, I, when I was flying around this planet, I did find all these things. You can see right there, there's a broken engine. You know what that is? That's an XL engine, an extra large engine. All right, I looked into it. I, I think it weighs more than 7,000 weight. I don't know what the weight conversion thing is. In it. I don't know what it's called, but it weighs more. I'm pretty sure it weighs more than 7,000 weight. So I'm not going to mess with it right now. Uh, I've got a large nest. Um, there's a crashed DSE mid, and I think that's just about it. So there's a couple of things I want to still look at on this, you know, planet. Uh, people have gotten back to me in the comment section and said, you need something serious to take out Xerox towers. They have multiple turrets on them. Most of them have four turrets. A lot of times the towers are so close to each other, you get hit in the crossfire. You need some serious, serious weaponry, and I simply don't have it right now. These are the um, ships I'm looking at making in the near future, we've got the uh, this one right here. Although a thousand titanium rods seems like a lot, but that thing looks pretty badass, right? It looks like it shoots fourteen missiles at once. <laughs> so or fourteen missile launch, not fourteen, uh, twelve. Yeah, twelve. Sorry. Well, why not fourteen? Why not twenty? I don't know. Anyway, um, I was looking at this one too. It's a little bit more. These are all Jay Randall, by the way. Um, this one also looks really good. The cobalt's killing me though. You know, I already made those, and then this one's uh, good for like. Uh, transit it's good for like moving stuff around it's got thirteen thousand storage i'd probably need that when i go for the uh broken engine so you know just some things i'm looking forward to guys if you have any information any tips i love getting them uh let me know in the comments that would be awesome a lot of people keep telling me i need a tank uh to take out the pois now when you say tank you're you're specifically talking about a hover vessel right because I've been looking at some of Jay Randall's hover vessels, and like they're all like most of them are tier four, you know, uh, um, tier four. What do you call it? Tier four CPU usage. I don't have what I need for those right now. But let me know, guys, if you guys have any any hover vessels or any small vessels. You know what? I, you know what I got in this game. I'm on tier two uh, CPU usage. If you got anything like that that can take out a Xerox tower, let me know. If not, I will consider digging underneath them. Yes, I know you can dig underneath them. I was doing that like a year or two ago. Um, I just, you know, I prefer not to dig underneath them if I don't have to. It just feels a little, I don't know. It doesn't feel as intended. I think it would be more fun to go in there shooting. But if I have to dig underneath, I will. All right, so let's get let's get situated here. And I think I have everything I need to go to the moon. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come to all these and I'm going to... Can you unmark them? That's what I want to do. I don't want to delete them. What does this do? Edit. There we go. And I believe I can uh, show on HUD. Remove on approach waypoint. Okay. So it's showing on. It's already showing on the HUD. It's kind of weird. Okay. Anyway. All right. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go to space. All right. What do you guys want? The good news or the really good news? The good news is this guy's restocked. Okay. Check it out. Got everything I need, and that was one day. I don't, I, I don't think he took that long for him to restock. That is going to make my life so much better. All right, you want to know what the really good news is? I found a cobalt asteroid. Can you believe it? I wonder. It's weird. the The Harkin Sunseeker is showing up as red. I think. Unless they just have red around them. No, yeah, look. Uh, the Harkin Sunseeker is showing up as red. It always makes me think it's like a drone. Um, it really shouldn't be red. I'm not really, like, enemies with them. But, eh, whatever. Let's go ahead and buy stuff. The only thing that sucks 
is I forgot to bring uh, sniper rifles to sell. But that is perfectly okay. Not a huge deal. Okay, so 58. There we go. Um, I found two silicon uh, nodes as well in space. So that's great. 92. Titanium rods. Yeah, I think I want to buy those. 93. Magnesium powder, 63. Um, I should probably start buying pentaxid, right? Uh, crystals for exotic energy, like warp jump. Yeah, I'm going to eventually need pentaxid. It doesn't even seem that expensive. 83. This stuff's going to be too too heavy for me to carry. I can almost guarantee it. I'll look at those in a minute. Um, oh my god, they're basically giving away these pellets. 57. 114. Oh my goodness. Uh, carbon Let's. What do I need platinum ingots for? I don't know. I'm probably. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need for something. Ooh, twenty-seven thousand. Okay. You know what? I don't need them that bad right now. <laughs> Same thing with the aluminum powder. Well, what? I'm gonna come back with sniper rifles and sell. Uh, next time I come back here, so it won't be that big of a deal. But that is. Um. I mean, should I just buy these? I guess I should. Seventy-eight. Yeah. And ninety-three. I should be able to make some serious money when I come back here. Uh, for, screw it. I'll buy the iron too. Even though I have a lot of iron, I could always use more. Anything else? You know, I think I want to go... Uh, yeah, the, I think the Pentax is really heavy. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I go right here. And, well, the thing is, I don't want to be taking super heavy stuff back home. Because, um, I don't want to be taking super heavy stuff out of here because we're going to the moon. And I'm assuming I'm going to get some loot on the moon. I'm going to hold off on the Pentaxid for now. Alright, here we are at the Cobalt Asteroid. Now, can I get, like, laser drills for these ships or something? I think last time I remember, I believe you could get laser drills for capital vessels, but not small vessels. But I'm not sure. They might have changed that. I don't know for sure. Uh, doesn't look like anything. I see that red around me, but I don't see anything. Here, let's do this. Yeah. So it looks like there's some red around me, but it doesn't look like it's anything serious. But just in case. Might be the Sunseeker, actually. Okay. Let's get a little closer. Turn the jetpack on. Get out. Nope, that's not the get out button, KHA, there you go. Alright, so we got this right here. We should be locked in here. Very good. Alright. Now it is going where it's supposed to, right? Yes, it's going in here. Beautiful. Oh, this is great. This is such a good find. And I, it looks like there's a lot up here, too. When, it, when you get them up here, it doesn't tell you, like, like how big of a you know deposit it is. But this looks pretty decent. Yeah, I gotta look. I gotta look into getting drills on my ships. The thing is with the whole CPU thing. Uh, Matt explained to me the CPU thing that made in a way that made sense. Basically, the idea of the CPU thing is a, a CPU, a computer, can only handle so many processes before you need an upgrade. Basically, uh, think of the CPU thing in this game as kind of like your computer. You know, I can't fill this thing up too much. Um, I can always come back here. Uh, yeah, think think about it like in your computer, you know, like uh, oh yeah, you're playing this game, but you only have eight gigs of RAM. Well, you gotta upgrade that, you know, and that's that's the idea behind the CPU thing, which is pretty cool. <laughs> but Madden was bringing up a good point that it, that's kind of messed up about it because the funny thing is when you're building a base, every I guess it's when, with a ship too, every block you put down counts as a CP counts against your CPU usage, and, and that's a bit like I mean it's just a block, right? So, yeah, that, that's a little weird, but, eh, it is what it is. Um, the CPU thing is really holding me back, though. Like, I could put, like, drills on this thing. I could have a shield on this thing right now. Um, the reason I can't is because the shield costs, like, I think 16,000 CPU points or whatever. And even with a Tier 2 CPU, it'll only be, I'll only have, like, 15,000 to total or something. I don't know. It's all new to me, but... I do find it pretty interesting. And honestly, let's just call it what it is. It's just a way for them to gatekeep you so you don't get too powerful. You know, that's all it is. And, and that's fine. I get it. Progression's important in these games. If you've got bad progression, you've got a bad game. This thing's freaking huge. Does it say how much left on there? 
No, I don't think it tells you anything about it, as far as I can tell. Oh, that's another thing, guys, I wanted to ask you really quick. Um, I had an asteroid land on my land on my planet, but it never showed up, like, on the map or anything. Do I just have to randomly find it? And if I, if I do, what am I looking for exactly? Because I've never had an asteroid um, crash on my planet before. So. Alright, that's pretty good. Let's go to the moon. Alright, so there's the moon. But I am seeing something past the moon. I think this is a minefield out here. Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, I'm thinking this is a minefield. I'm going to go check it out. Uh, we'll see what's what. Kind of curious. Kind of curious. Curiosity killed the cat, right? Oh, good thing I'm not a cat. Yeah, man, this is way past the moon. I don't think there's much else out here, though. I am seeing other other planets, by the way. But I need uh, I need a warp drive to get to them. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I think we have to navigate the mines. As best we can. They look like they're, you know, pretty, uh, pretty pronounced. So, let's see if we can get in there without getting ourselves blown up. There we go. See, I'm thinking these are... Oh, hold on. Okay. Alright. It's about to get real. Range is 550. Let's do this. Gonna get ya. Gonna get ya. Come on. And you're done. You're done. Let's loot him up. Uh, I'm crashing them. Okay. This. Nope. First person. There we go. Come on. Alright. Not too bad. Not too bad. I like this ship. <laughs> I like it a lot. I think it's going to do well against drones. I just can't take bases with it, which is, you know, fine, I guess. So, I believe... This might be some kind of... I don't think these ships are still active. I believe I can take them apart without pissing off the Polaris. Yep, destroy... Okay, yeah, so these are destroyed. Alright, you know what? If this is if this is what I think it is, we might not even make it to the, uh, uh, to the moon today. Because this is really going to be something good, I think. Um, do I want to land on it? Or... Eh, I guess it's good right here. Right, we're locked in. Take number six. Actually, you should probably put a uh, thing on it. Should we go check out the other parts first? Or should we look at this thing? Nah, let's let's look at this one. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a core. Throw all this stuff in there. Okay, T. Put the core right there. Seven. Okay, so we have to find the core. Coral! Alright, what are these, um... Alright, first of all, this is a capital vessel. So, anytime we find anything like, um... Uh, like thruster blocks, they're gonna be really good. Um, as a matter of fact, my biggest problem here is I'm not gonna be able to carry all of the loot. So, oh, look at that. That, my friends, is a, is a warp drive. That is cool. All right, I found the core is right there, and I just took it out. So let me go ahead and put my own core on this bad boy. All right, and we'll just put it right here. There we go. It's my ship now. Yeah, boy, you best believe that. All right, so devices, devices. All right, so it looks like it's got, it's probably got all medium thrusters. Medium, medium, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of medium thrusters, though. Holy crap. Oh, my God. I wish I could carry more stuff, man. But I guess I could just dump this stuff in the factory, which is okay. But, damn, I wish I had more. I wish I could carry all this stuff. Uh, cargo box. Let's take a look at the cargo box. Nope, no cargo box. All right, no constructor, no equipment, fridges, fuel, fuel tanks, generators. How big are the generators? Those are just regular old generators. Probably not that big. Okay, so I misspoke. That is a small vessel, unfortunately. But I still did get a lot of stuff out of it. Um, you know, why don't we put the titanium rods in there? Are we going to put the computer? Yeah, let's put the computer in there. I'm trying to save as much space as I can here. All right, and this is what I got going on so far in my factory. 
Uh, I got. The I want to get those titanium rods over a thousand, so I can make that one really dope ship. Uh, so that's why I'm. I, I should be taking apart this whole ship right now. Um, I probably will on the way back. But the thing is, I want to check the other ships as well, and uh, that's why I am leaving right now. So let's go ahead and put this right up here. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. So the next thing I want you see, there's other ships in here I want to check out, and they look like like bigger ships. So, I just don't know if they're destroyed. Uh, if they're not destroyed, I can't help myself. Um, so, let's go on over here and see what's going on. Yep, another destroyed vessel. Beautiful. Probably a small vessel, but... That's okay. Still gonna have a lot of good stuff on it. You don't want things to be too overpowered, right? Alright, so we're just gonna stop right here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get out and then go into first person, F4, and put down a core. F4, put down a core. That's how you win this game, baby. Alright, seven. Yeah, that's right, I have to find the core first. Alright, let's see if we can find the core. Um, yeah, this is probably a small vessel as well. Although, it could be a capital vessel. Terry, now if it's a capital vessel, I'm going to be freaking thrilled. Although if it's a capital vessel, they'll probably make it so it's, um... Uh, they would probably make it so it didn't have any thrusters. Because getting thrusters from capital vessels might be a little bit too, too, too powerful. Man, I thought I was really going to the moon today, but this is... I can't, like, pass this up. This is legit stuff right here, man. I kind of remember this ship. I kind of remember doing this ship... Back in the day. You see my instincts were right. It is a capital vessel. Um, I did find the core. Put down my own. It is a capital vessel. And there's no thrusters in it. Yeah, they're not going to give you medium thrusters out of a capital vessel this easily. Um, that would just... <laughs> that would be really, really strong. I mean, I'd love it, but... and But this thing really has nothing in it. it. It's it's not even... Like, it's just regular steel blocks. Like, this is just... I mean, I don't expect to get, like, you know... The thrusters, but damn, man, give me something. This thing blows. All right, fair enough. Let's go check out another part of this uh, destroyed minefield area. I think I saw a control place up there. Where is that? Where is it? There. Uh, no, that's not it. All right. Destroyed small vessel. That's the one I just did, right? Pretty sure. Yep, there's a control station. All right, let's do this. Okay, destroyed small vessel. Yeah, I'm just seeing... I just think it's a control station now. All right, let's go check it out. What you got, control station? Okay. I don't know what this is. Supposed to be a base, I guess? Probably. Ooh, I see, um... I see, uh, alien crap over there. That means we might see some combat here. Yeah, the alien blocks. Alright, before we go anywhere, let's grab the core. Who knows? Maybe this thing doesn't have a core. We don't know. Uh, no, don't put it there. Put it there. Seven. Uh, no permission to modify the structure. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this is protected. This might be one of those protected structures. Those weapons switch to a different weapon. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is, um, like an actual protected, like, structure. Like, um, admin, you know? Okay, am I upside down, or... Let's see. Yes, I was upside down. Oh, a teleporter. Teleporter's not active. Fuel tank. Can't get in the fuel tank. Okay. What's the point of this place? Can I at least loot something? Oh, <laughs> okay. I can loot something. 
shut a door, I can't open it. Can I? Guess not. All right. Uh, well, the core's in there. I wonder if I could... Civilians faction. Yeah, I don't think I could destroy that. Does not look like it. Maybe if I had explosives or something, I don't know. Alright, fair enough. Oh, Jetpack, please. Oh, what is this? Wait, is there a quest up here? What the hell? That's weird. Alright. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh. Oh, here we go. Control hub, punch the console, override code accepted. Please make your choice. Um, deactivate minefield. An unexpected error occurred. Do you want to send the error information to space crew? Restart. There's an open application running. Message 239 close anyway. Show message. Uh, exploration crew, second commander, fractal elite, whatever. Um, this is a warning to the pilot approaching the station. Hold your distance, pick up this message, and relay it to the Polaris HQ. The, I had no idea how to say that word, is heading for this planet. Oh, okay, I should probably learn how to say that word, but I have no idea. But it is not under our control. To anyone who's reading this, Code Omega, destroy that whole ship. Oh, uh, we picked something up which killed the entire crew and has taken control of the ship. We managed to survive long enough to find this station and send a recorded warning, but do, but no doubt, we are already dead. Do not search for survivors. I repeat, destroy that ship, destroy that ship and this station, as well as the strongest weapon, sorry, as well as with the strongest weapon you have. Wait, what? Destroy that ship and this station as well with the strongest, okay, that makes sense. I was just reading it wrong. Um, do not leave even dust. I am so sorry, Chief St. John was absolutely right from the beginning. We might have retreat. We might have revived the dark times. May the galaxy forgive us. Okay. Well, I would destroy this place, but I can't. Not allowed. Maybe I can now. Can I shoot the core? No. Pretty sure I can't do. Oh, here we go. Should I just be hitting random switches? Why not? Oh, cool. Alien container. All right, not too bad. Nothing great, but you know, still not too bad. So is that the only loot in here? Probably. Did that open that up or? I don't think this opened this up. At first I did, but now I don't think so. Alright, cool. One of those switches uh, opened this this door here. So that's cool. Ooh, I wonder if I'm supposed to... Yeah, I'm going to try that on the core. Because, if I remember correctly, these explosives used to be able to blow stuff up real good. Alright, let's dump some crap in here. And then let's take that. And let's see if we can use it on the core. So I fully admit this is probably going to be a waste of time and not going to work. But, eh, what are you going to do? Got to give it a try, right? Okay. Yeah, maybe you should be able to put two on there. I'm just going to use them all up on this. Two more. There you go, guys. Do your thang. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I had to know. On the way back to base, I hit that other ship, and I'm up to 1137 titanium rods, which is just fantastic. All right, now, we got some work to do. Uh, this is an incredibly productive episode. I'm so happy. Uh, with the way this one went. Oh my goodness. Just just great. I'm going to put these in here. Oh, you can't. Okay. So no free, no freebies there. All right. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. Let's go ahead and put that back in there. Then we'll come right here. We'll go to the base and go to container controller. And I mean, this is just dumping everything in here, right? Pretty much. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Wrong button. Just trying to hold control for some reason. Right, I'm just going to throw everything in here and then look through it after it's already in there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And that thing is getting full. Oh, yeah, it's getting full. All right, well, since that's getting full, let's check and see if we have another extension thingy, which I don't think I do. So we're going to make one of those. Uh, I'll make two of them, actually. I like to make them two at a time. Container extension. One, two. Beautiful. All right, so the only thing we can't make is this. <laughs> In here, at least. That is pretty freaking dope. Um, okay, so what do I want to do next? Uh, okay, so this is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to come over here to my deconstructor. And I'm going to start deconstructing. You best believe that. Um, so this goes to base and cargo box one. And we're going to deconstruct the railgun, the pulse laser, the plasma cannon, the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers were on that, that um, small vessel, by the way. And do I want to deconstruct anything else? Oh, yeah. The... Um, Armored windows. I don't think I'm going to get anything crazy from them, but I'll deconstruct them. As far as I know, as far as I know, and I hope I'm right about this, you get 100% of the resources back. So, there's no reason not to deconstruct stuff, as far as I can tell. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'll deconstruct those two. Alright, looks pretty good. So, let's go ahead and turn this bit. Come on. Come on. Turn this on. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What, what am I getting that from? What did I get? What did I get those from? What did it deconstruct? Oh, it must have been one of, one of those laser guns. Oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, I'm so happy about that. And what's this? It's a Coseum alloy. Okay, great. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here for a second because <laughs> this is pretty dope. Let's see what else we get. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think I'm going to get anything crazy from the rocket launchers, but this is going to be very, very good for me. Awesome. That is just freaking awesome. Okay, what do I want to do while I'm waiting for that? Oh, yeah. Uh, we need to come over here and set up some uh, uh, cobalt ingots. Okay. And... All right, I'm going to wait for all that stuff to deconstruct because I want to see what I get out of it. All right, there you go. That's everything I got. Now, what am I going to spend this stuff on? What do I want the most? There's two things I want the most, guys. We either warp to another system and look for more nodes that we can, you know, more um, nodes that we can mine in the ground, you know, in other, in other planetary systems. Or, or I could put this into a hover tank. I'm not really sure which one. I'm not really sure which one I want to do, to be honest. But um, you guys let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? But I am going to call this one here. If you haven't been joining the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. Man, that was a hell of a productive run. <laughs> see you next time, guys.